One, two, three, four, five. Okay, she's absolutely crazy. The lamb is so big, she's laying down to drink. I am so happy. I know I have something going on in here. I had a pretty tough loss. There's a little story behind this one. <laughs> Literally walked again in front of our eyes and I didn't think it would work, but I feel like every time I have a good day, then I have a really bad day. Merry Christmas, you guys. This must be the gift from them. They did not lamb overnight. There is no new lambs this morning. Uh, I am just going to be able to make sure my bottle babies are drinking and then go in the house and open gifts like a normal person, which is crazy. So I am on chore duty today. So I will bring you guys back out after uh, breakfast and opening gifts with the family. I just wanna make sure everybody's okay uh, before I take a couple hours off. It's looking like I got the reprieve that I was hoping for. So I hope everyone has a great day today. This is maybe my most favorite tradition. Lucy. Yes! Did she find it? No. Oh, she's got the wire. I like my squeaky shoes. Nice kicks. Tech tips. Minus tech tips? Yep. Cool. LTTstore.com. <laughs> Plug. Plug his merch. Oh, I ate too much. And then I checked my cameras and realized I think I got a few lambs on the ground. Oh, moving's gonna be tricky. Hi guys, thanks for waiting. Oh boy, there's four lambs on the ground. Okay. Two mamas. All right, I think we can do this. We can do this. Five babies. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's deal with business here. So, I think we got them figured out. Even Mark, she's marked for twins, but I think she had three. Or she claimed one. She's marked for three. 
because she's claimed two. And everybody's happy. She has more milk anyway, so I'm gonna let this happen. I'm making a management decision. <laughs> we'll see how mums are when their hormones chill in like an hour. It's Christmas night. We've had a great day. Uh, really no lambs since this morning, except for my triplets turned into quads. So that, oh, so that was a little surprise. But I was just about to make supper and I noticed we have a lamb in the camera. There it is. Well, where's your mom? Oh, it's all by itself. Oh. Is your mom having a baby? Is that why you're by yourself? Where's your mom? Oh, right here. Does she not like you? Hello, mom. What's your baby? What's your baby? Oh, seriously? Yeah, your mom sucks. Okay. Well. Hi, honey. Let's go to the... Let's go to the pen. And then I'll get her after. How's that sound? Okay. Hopefully. Hopefully we can get her down here and love you. Okay, she's absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna get a halter and see if I can get this lamb drinking, but love your baby. That's your baby, yep. You're fine. Love your baby. I have one more idea. I'm gonna try. So I'll try to explain this without freaking her out too much. <clears throat> um, I had one other idea. I brought the halter and a bottle for it in case she wasn't gonna relax. Um, but she had a little bit of cleaning still hanging out of her. So what I actually did is I, I gloved up again and I actually did an internal on her just to kind of and I moved my hand around a bit so she thought she was kind of giving kind of giving birth again so she kind of contracted my hand out it was kind of a Hail Mary but and then whatever I could get on my glove I just wiped on the lamb on her head and on her back end and on her belly because that's the three areas if this you gives it attention that's likely where she's gonna smell it and if she could smell herself fresh on that lamb you got a little better chance of bonding so she likes to be milked which is a bonus the lamb is so big she's laying down to drink okay it's off now so let's see if she lets it get back on I think I got about a hundred mils into it. I fed it a little bit of bottle, just 
just because I'm gonna run back to the house for a couple hours and I'm gonna come back out and check her, but I'm gonna let them kinda, she's really quiet now. The ewe's quieted right down, which is a miracle. He knows where everything is. He's just really big. So he's having a hard time getting down and onto the teat because the ewe is small and the lamb is big. So the math is a bit off, but it's got some milk in its tummy and mama settled down. So I'm gonna let them be for a couple hours, but I'm gonna come back and check them. Well guys, it's my bedtime. It's like nine o'clock. I just came back to make sure this you has bonded with this lamb and I've been secretly watching them from my nest cameras and they have bonded. So I am so happy. So they are good. And I even think she licked the rest of it off, which is just unbelievable. However, when I got out here uh, a couple minutes ago, that you over there um, had just given birth to a stillborn, another stillborn lamb, first one of three. So all three, I, I brought her in here after she delivered. She delivered on her own the first one. And then I put her in this pen because I'm like, she was marked for two. I pulled out two more and they were full size, big pulls because when a lamb is dead and you're trying to deliver them. They just, they, they don't help. So poor mom, she was contracting really well, but they were big lambs. So I have, I have some Medicam here. I'm just going to give her uh, a painkiller and just let her stay in the, stay in there all night. Hopefully she'll be feeling a little more herself, but uh, yeah, that's three, like triplets. It's, I, I know I have something going on in here and I wish it wasn't Christmas because I'd be maybe getting some, some of these lambs into the lab for testing. I'd like to be able to pinpoint it to something because it's getting, now it's just getting, like I go through a couple days of really good lambing with nothing and then I have a day like this that I lose three in one ewe. So anyway, I'm gonna give her a needle. I'm gonna fill up some water pails and then I'm gonna sign off for tonight. Good morning, Noah. <laughs> Come here and say hi. Oh, you guys all want to say hi. Good morning. It is Boxing Day. It is Saturday, I think. And it's someone's very special day today. Good morning, Billy. What are you saying? What's today? Is today your birthday? Yes, it is. It's your birthday. So yeah, my Billy was born a year ago. This morning we just we had a we had a set of triplets from a first time you. They were all over. There was one in the back corner, one right near the lambing pens, and one on the other side of the gate. Settle down now. So my ewe's up and looking a lot better this morning. She was the one that had the stillborn triplets. And this couple is still united. Hi. But that is it. That's all that's left. For the first time all lambing, <laughs> this lambing group, I I had to actually go to the house this morning. Like I had to leave the barn. I had a pretty tough loss. I've been trying to keep pretty upbeat, but this lambing's been really frustrating. I feel like it's been a roller coaster of emotion from the very first lamb that drops and you hear that the little tiny little bob for the first time. I, I don't know if it's a woman thing or if guys feel this too when they're lambing, but that first little coo from a lamb is like, it just, it, it gets you in all the feels. From the very first set of lambs, I've had some issues, but I feel like every time I have a good day, then I have a really bad day. Yeah, I lost a lamb. I, it got stuck during delivery. It was a huge single lamb. I got a leg out. It took me forever to get the head out. I finally got the head out with lots of lube. It was alive. Like I was, I was like begging it to stay alive and it took too long. I couldn't get it out and uh, it's frustrating. And I, when I finally got it out and tried to revive it, it was too late. It was gasping and it just never took a breath. 
So it stays like that that I need to like, I need to look at the rest and see how many, how many have made it and go in the house and talk to my family and just get talked off the ledge and, uh, and carry on. But, oh, I hate those ones because you feel like you've, you feel like they die in your arms and it's a horrible feeling. Anyway, today is Philly's birthday, so I am gonna go get him a little treat and try to be happy for a few minutes. I got a treat for you. I got a treat for you. What do I got? I got some hay. Here's some hay. You want some hay? Oh, you just want some left. Hi, kid. Hello baby, happy birthday. Good morning you guys, it's Sunday and last night at nine o'clock I came back out, there was a ewe lambing, I could see it in the camera. And same thing as yesterday afternoon, like such a big pull. And uh, the ewe was actually going into shock. So I was like, I was freaking out cause I'm like, I can't lose two lambs today. Like in my, literally in my arms. And, uh, but I, but I got it out and it's doing really well. So I'm going to go and show you guys that little, that little win that I so needed last night. And, uh, and then I'm on chore duty today because Carissa is with her family. I think today, today's the day after boxing day. Yep. So glad yesterday turned around. I think just that lack of sleep catches up to you and, and then you just, you really have to talk yourself out of out of negative thoughts and situations. So yesterday was just one of those days I just needed to, I had a little bit of a nap and I watched a movie. We went back to the ca the cabin for a little bit, but I was just, yeah, I needed to walk away and regroup. And then last night I had a little win. So this was the first day since lambing started that I did not have to come out here at four. Uh, one of the best things I ever did was get uh, the Nest cameras and the, uh, the app on my phone where I can turn on my lights. So I got like two hours of extra sleep this morning, so I feel a lot better. But yeah, we must be in the reprieve. So when you see to a group, when I see to a group, there tends to be, the first week tends to be really, really busy because that's their first heat, their first cycle. And a lot of them usually catch their first cycle. And then the remainders, um, if they missed that heat or they didn't get bred or the, or the breeding didn't, if they just didn't conceive, then they should come into heat about 17 days later. So um, this group was in two halves. So whoever was in that first group, they should be coming back into cycle basically 17 days from the 12th is the 29th, is that right? So in a couple more days, that first group should start kind of trickling out some lambs. And then uh, about a week later, the rest should lamb. So over the next two weeks, we should see the rest of this group lamb. It's going to be very intermittent. Um, so it's nice because I have a pretty big, couple really big groups that I can make a pen out of. And that's kind of the point with the logistics of my pens. Probably today I will open this whole pen up. It's all about logistics. If you can figure out your logistics when you're lambing, it just makes life a lot easier. And I do try... I know what I do might not make sense to people, but I what I the final thing is I'm trying to keep the lambs in their in their same 
age group. So I, the first couple pens were all born that first week. So I wanna always keep them in their own pen. This second group was born the second week, so they can have their own little pen. And these guys are probably gonna be spread over two weeks, which isn't ideal, but two weeks is okay. I'm trying to miss that coxie cycle, which I think is a three week thing. That's the logic in my little brain. No one really told me to do that. I just kind of started doing that and it's been working. My quads. There's one more thing I keep forgetting to talk to you guys about, and I want to talk to you guys about it because if you're a sheep farmer, you may see this, and I've had people tell me how to, how to do it before, but I never really actually have seen it with my own eyes, and it works, so I want to talk a little bit about it, but I gotta find this lamb. He's itty bitty. There it is. Okay. Right there. That little itty bitty baby. Hey baby. Hi. So, there's a little story behind this one. Hi sweetie. Hi. Hello. I guess it'd almost be two weeks ago now. Um, after we had let it out in the pen, it was, it was not putting any weight on its back left leg, I believe it was. Wouldn't put weight on it. I, I evaluated the leg, but there was no break. There was nothing visual or physical that I could feel that, that would be why it would limp, was limping. Um, and then I wondered maybe if one of the ewes just really took it for a ride. Like these ewes can get pretty mean and, uh, and runt them really hard. So I wonder maybe if she bruised something. And then a couple days later, her other one did the same thing. So she could not get up. She was completely paralyzed on her back end. Uh, she would try to get up and she, the, the little thing, the mom was so good. Uh, she'd try to still kind of feed it. So I was like, I don't know what to do. Carissa started feeding it the bottle just to make sure it got some. And we didn't have much hope because I'm like, I, d I don't know what this is. I don't know how it could have injured both legs like that. And then I started thinking, well, maybe this is white muscle. And I give them a selenium shot and that's supposed to help with that. What I did is I gave her another shot. And 24 hours later, not a word of a lie, it was up on its one leg. So it was then it was walking, at least it could drink out of mum. So it was basically, a, it had three legs working. And then the day after that, it was running around, all four legs. So literally walked again in front of our eyes and I didn't think it would work. And Carissa couldn't believe it. So that is a huge win and I completely forgot all about it. This is the thing, you get so busy with all these little lives that um, the ones that you lose are the ones you remember, but the ones that you save all the time, little ones, big ones, mean the world to us and we just forget about them, right? Anyway, I thought I would let you guys know that. It's not all bad, not always bad. Sometimes we have those wins. So yeah, so white muscle, read the label on the bottle, but um, I think I gave it just another quarter cc because it wasn't two weeks old yet. I think if they're two weeks old, you have to give them a half a cc, but. It worked, and I'm so glad I did it. My babies look happy.